hi everyone and welcome to twf monday night raw or moon day night underdone i am gorilla monsoon here with conan the barbarian and with samoa joe and today we have we have some unfinished undone business between the overseer or the main or head overseer Ashley Williams and Seth Rollins whose team starts to be getting bigger and bigger. Gorilla Monsoon said you're right about that Conan the Barbarian said it started out with Seth Rollins and the AOP, AOP and then James Storm and now Teddy DiBiase younger Teddy DiBiase namesake and I'm telling you right now Samoa Joe said where is it going to end? You know where is it going to end? So, Ashley Williams says, Today is the day, Seth Rollins. Today is the day I overthrow your kingdom, your overdom, whatever you want to call it. Calling yourself a king, a kaiser, I don't know, overlord. Well, you know who really has oversight? It's not you. I have law and oversight, not you, Seth Rollins. So, why don't you come out here by yourself, not with the AOP, not with James Storm, not with Teddy Biasi namesake, me and you. So, why don't you come out here? First off, Seth Rollins says, I unlook you, I unlook you being bold and fearless, you know. That's what I unlook in a leader. You know, that's what I look for in leadership. But at the end of the day, not all, not everyone in this world has the skill and craft to be a leader. But I know I do. Yeah, I know you're gonna say you do. You know, which is, well, truly sad if you believe you're the one who has the skills and craft, you know, to be a leader, which I'm here to tell you, I don't think you do. You know? Yeah, you come out here and you talk about how you're going to help everyone, you're going to do this, you're going to do that, da da da. But all I saw in this, and this is, this is only one man's belief, one man's take, but you do not come off as some kind of good doer leader who's only seeking to do right by others. But at the end of the day, sadly, you are an evildoer. Let's look. I mean, let's look at, every, at, at everything you did. You are an evildoer, Seth Rollins. And let's be earnest about this. At first, you went around and you started beating up on everyone. Me, Godzilla, Samoa Joe, Aladdin, Jasmine. Does that ring a bell? Well, it should, because those are the ones you beat up on. And then somehow, some way, unknown to yourself, you know, and then you beat up on Diva Talk before she even went bad. And then you beat, then you started doing all your, uh, started doing all your, whatever the other shit you were doing up to that point. And then you're beating up on Kevin Owens and Belaska, and then, well, you seek to do that. You, you seek. Somehow you thought that you could take out Drew McIntyre the same way, and that didn't work. How that worked out for you, buddy? To the end of the day, you were an evildoer. You're still an evildoer. You know. 
You ain't no freer. You ain't no helper. You're no healer. And good thing we can't seek out the AOP because I'm sure you would have those two jerks come down and beat the shit out of me. And I don't know where they're at. Well, you think you got everything under run about me, right? You think you understand me. Well, just to let you know, you do not understand everything about me. And that's right. The AOP ain't here because one of them is harmed. And if, eight, and if one's harmed, you, you're not going to have any other. So no, they're not going to be here. But I do have Teddy Biasi namesake and James Storm. Yeah, me and you are going to have a fight, you know? You see, here we got the fight foreman, the fight lord in the ring, the fight overseer. All right, Gorilla Monsoon says, we're going to have Seth Rollins fight Ashley Williams here on Monday Night Raw. Yes, we are. Conan the Barbarian said, that'll be good to see. Yeah, and the truth is, Ashley Williams is right about Seth Rollins and the way he behaved. Yeah, but you know, when I take you out and I end you, I'll be doing everyone some good. Ding ding. Well, I don't think so. Ashley Williams just took out Seth Rollins. You know. And now Seth Rollins cooking down Ashley Williams. Did he he just did what I thought he'd seek to do to him? And Ashley Williams just body slammed Seth Rollins. And then body slammed him again. And then again. And then a suplex Gorilla Monsoon said. Yeah, Seth Rollins is getting beat up right now, Conan a Barbarian said. By by Ashley Williams. Oh, he tried to do the Williams stunner. Didn't quite work out, Conan a Barbarian said. I'll tell you right now, Samoa Joe said, I understand that Ashley Williams was one of our al was one of our friends in a fight with Seth Rollins. And all oh, Seth Rollins just took him outside. But I think he has to watch that. He doesn't know how harmful. Oh, and Seth Rollins just took him down again. You know, now the fight lord's going to start tracking him out. One, two, three, four. Ted DiBiase namesake just came down and got taken down. Here comes James Storm. He got taken down too, Gorilla Monsoon said. And now Ashley Williams, oh, Ashley Williams just got curved, stomped it down by Seth Rollins. This is not good at all. Oh, one, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner, Seth Rollins. And the AOP, Akam and Razor might not be here. Teddy Biasi namesake just took down Ashley Williams with his move. Where he calls that. The final call by James Storm. And that is sad. We know the AOP, Razor and Akam are somewhere in that green box. Or somewhere in the other green box. And we just didn't have all the time to, to dig them out. So... So what do you think about that, Gorilla Monsoon says? I thought it was shameful and there was nothing to be onlooked by what Seth Rollins did to Ashley Williams, the main overseer here, and, and the TWF. Yeah, you're right, Gorilla Monsoon. It was wrong, Conan a Barbarian said. It was bad. You know, I guess I can't really say it was evil, sin for a wicked or unlawful, but I could say it was wrong and bad. You know, that is wrong. That was just sad. And this, and the, and the tape stickers keep coming off. Every time, it's, it keeps coming off. Um, I understand now that, I understand now that we got Michael Cole, and Michael Cole is going to be talking with, well, I understand that Michael Cole now is going to be talking with, 
uh, Kurt Hawkins, who is the world heavyweight winner. And some could have mind seen that coming. All right, take it away, Michael Cole. Thank you, Gorilla Monsoon. Well, I'm here with my I'm here with my greeter right now, with my guest I guess my right now. He is the world heavyweight winner, Kurt Hawkins. Kurt Hawkins, how does it feel knowing that you only are the world heavyweight winner since of Diva Talks, and that you'll be fighting Drew McIntyre here? Well, first off, it is what it is, and I'll tell you something. Drew McIntyre, he is a one, a one in a lifetime wrestler. Yes, it is true. He did work hard to get to where he was at. To be IW heavyweight winner, to be EPW heavyweight winner, to be WWE NXT heavyweight winner, to even be the WWE heavyweight winner. But he worked hard to be TWF heavyweight winner. But at the end of the day, he just had to face the truth that I am the world heavyweight winner. And I am an underling of Diva Talks, and I will do whatever Diva Talks asks me to do to get over. And you also know June is Diva Talks' month. Go, yeah, she's the evil doer of the month, but she's also my boss. And I'm gonna go lead, I'm gonna go leer to leer with Drew McIntyre. Well, you do know that you'll be facing Dennis Rodman this month at heat at sun at the uh, heat wave. What do you think about that? Heat wave, huh? ECW's take on SummerSlam. ECW's take on Bash of the Beach. Well, the way I look at it is that I'm gonna take Dennis Rodman down, and I will be still the world heavyweight winner at the end of the day. All right. That was my talk to world heavyweight winner, Kurt Hawkins. Back to you, Gorilla Monsoon. Ah. Oh. Well, thank you, Michael Cole, for talking with Kurt Hawkins. And I understand Kurt Hawkins is coming to the ring now, Gorilla Monsoon says. Yeah, there he is, Conan the Barbarian said. Ah, oh. and Waitfulness isn't a friend of Kurt Hawkins. Ah. Uh, Gorilla Monsoon said he fell right down as soon as he got into the ring. And now Kurt Hawkins now got the world heavyweight winnings. And someone that's gonna frighten him and make him fall down. Oh come on. Here we go. So a lot of uh, Yeah, Samoa Joe said the world heavyweight winner, Kurt Hawkins who beat Dennis Rodman on Friday Night Smackdown. And I would like to see him get face to face with Drew McIntyre, because I wonder how that's gonna play out, Samoa Joe said. Well, I do know one thing, Conan the Barbarian said, if it wasn't for Diva Talks and what she did, if it wasn't for Diva Talks and what she did, I don't even think, I don't even think that he would be the real heavyweight winner. Well, Diva Talk says I'm gonna get, well. All right, Diva Talk says, actually Williams is out, out, out of the likeness now. Now it's me and Kurt Hawkins. And Diva Talk says, as my new underling, you, as the world heavyweight winner, You know, they are going to be those who are going to be coming for you, Kurt Hawkins. They're going to be those who are going to seek to, you know, to bring you down. Those who are going to seek to beat you. But at the end of the day, you're the more good world heavyweight winner. And I have all the faith and belief in you that tomorrow on Impact, you will be not just, not only, just is a French borrowed word. So sad. That's a French borrowed word too. Sad. Um, not only will you be the world heavyweight winner, but you will be the TWF heavyweight winner too. Since I will be the outstanding fight lord or fight lady or fight overseer or fight forward woman. So that's what you're going to do, Drew McIntyre says. You're gonna try to fuck me over, Diva Talks, like you did to 
to Dennis Rodman on Friday Night SmackDown. Well, I ain't going to take that. See, I know that you're going to do something like that. And you know, Diva Talks, you fought for the world. You fought for the heavy TWF heavyweight winnings, too. And you also lost. So, you got Kurt Hawkins, a man who can't even fight his own fights. A man who can't even wrestle and fight without you helping him out. So the way I look at it, Diva Talks, if you think that you're going to beat me and this jerk, this heel, is going to be a TWF heavyweight winner, then you are the most dumbest woman that I know of. Because I'll Claymore kick both your leers off your heads. Sure, Diva Talk says, that's all we need is some jerk old world Scotlander who somehow, some way, you know, has gotten into the hearts of all men and women. Somehow, he has gotten the on look that he has been asking for his whole time. Hmm. Right? You left Scotland that may or may not be free from England, I don't know. Every time Scotland, every time Eng every time it comes up in the lawmaking gathering, Scotland always chooses and picks to keep with England. Geez, I don't know why. But that's not my business. So you left Scotland. You came to the United States already on it irks. And you went to WWE after you learned how to wrestle underneath David Taylor. Things didn't quite go well when you were on Raw. So then you went to SmackDown and Vince McMahon called you the Chosen One. Well, things didn't quite go right from SmackDown, right? Then you went to NXT the first time before they let you go. Oh, you were on Freeman Band. And then you went to NXT again and then they let you go. So, then you went to IW, and you became the IW Heavyweight Winner. And then you went to EPW, and became the EPW Heavyweight Winner. Back to WWE on NXT for the, for the tooth time. You became a WWE NXT Heavyweight Winner. Then from there, you went back to Raw, where you've been. And pretty much that is your saga and tale. But, Diva Talk says, all sagas and tales have a beginning, middle, and end. And Drew McIntyre, your saga, your tale, has, cre has come to its end. That's right. That's right, Drew McIntyre. You're going to lose to Kurt. Shut the fuck up. You shut the bloody hell up. And you, my saga and tale has only began. And it's not coming to an end. So you might have forgotten Diva Talks. You talk about how you are this bitch, this wretch, who thinks they won. Well, if I could think of you didn't win anything, because at the end of the day, the Power Rangers or the Strength Keepers beat you. Yeah, you may have blew up their high, you may have blew up their hideout, but you didn't beat them because they still came back. So, so while you keep talking about how you did something that Rita Repulsa and Lord Zed and, and Ivan Ooze and Master Vile and King Amondo couldn't do before you, you didn't get the job done, Diva Talks, did you? Just like you won't get the job done when you fought me. Well, it is true, Gorilla Monsoon said, Diva Talks did bring down the Power Rangers or the Strength Keepers hideout, but didn't get the job done because they came back. And it is that she did make, Lord did make Rita Repulsa and Lord Zed and Ivan Ooze and Master Bao and King Amondo look very dumb for not knowing where their hideout was all that time. But at the end of the day, she didn't get the job done. 
"That's right," Conan the Barbarian says. "Just like Drew McIntyre's going to beat Curt Hawkins to morrow on impact, and he'll still be the world heavyweight winner at the end of the day." "Yeah, that will be true," Samoa Joe said. "That's if Drew McIntyre can get past Diva Talks and her fight lording and her fight overseeing. Because we saw what she did. Ugh. We saw what happened to Dennis Rodman when he fought Curt Hawkins on Friday Night Smackdown. Well, that's all the time we got here for TWF Monday Night Raw or Moon Day Night Overdone. I am Gorilla Monsoon for Conan the Barbarian and for Samoa Joe. We hope you like Monday Night Raw and we'll see you tomorrow for Impact.